Hi guys, it's time for distance learning and this is to orient you to how to um, get used to distance learning. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on. Um, so this is what's happening right now. Uh, it's a virtual day, um, but this will take you back to our front page. So it has Monday's assignments going on on um, today's page. So um, it'll have all of your um, regular stuff happening for, um, it'll be switched back for your virtual day stuff. Okay. Um, so all you had to do is click the link at the bottom. Some of you were like, where did it go? And I was like, well, there's a link. So make sure you learn up, like make sure you remember how to read all the stuff. Okay. Um, so a couple of things. Here are my uh, team, Microsoft Teams. When we do team stuff, here are our class norms. Um, make sure you name yourself the way you appear in the grade book. Um, I do have a lot of people with the same first names. So give me a hint, either first name, last name, or first name, last initial. Um, have your volume turned up. Uh, have your video turned off while I'm doing the teaching. If we're doing like group response type stuff, that's totally fine to have your video on. It's just less distractions of everybody seeing each, each other. Um, attendance, be on time to class. Uh, if you miss out, you'll have to, you know, watch the recording on your own time. Um, make sure you're focused. This is Spanish class time. So try to focus on Spanish class and not other classes. So don't have like your math next to you while you're trying to do your Spanish, then, you know, you're gonna have to watch the recording. Uh, if you have a question, make sure that you ask. Uh, if you don't understand what's happening, you need to try to figure it out sooner rather than later, okay? Um, Make sure you raise your hand. If you have a question, use the raise hand function. You can also use the chat function. I'll have the chat function enabled. Um, however, if you're using the chat function for stuff that's um, non-school stuff, then I'll just remove you from the classroom and I won't let you back in. Um, make sure you're paying attention. If I ask you to participate, um, be ready to participate. And make sure that your Chromebook has a full charge to last your class period so that way you're not missing out. Um, Here's our distance learning schedule. If you have me first hour, you'll be meeting with me on Tuesday. If you have me third hour, you'll be meeting with me on Tuesday. And if you have me fifth hour, you'll be with meeting with me on Tuesday, okay? Um, same for Thursday. So if you're in me thir first hour, you'll meet with me on Thursday, um, third hour on Thursday and Friday on Thursday. And then if you have me, um, second hour or sixth hour, you'll meet with me on Wednesday and second hour and sixth hour, you'll meet with me on uh, Friday. Okay. So if you have any questions about these, I'll be sending these out. So if you happen to miss a team's meeting class, that's totally fine. Life happens. I totally get it. Um, you're sick. You're taking care of your siblings, doctor's office, um, couldn't connect whatever. There's a link to this in everything. So I'll sh walk you through all this. Don't worry. Um, you click on the link. It takes you here Tuesday, February 2nd or Wednesday, February 3rd, depending on what class you're in. Okay. You click on one of these and these will be links and the links will be uploaded within like 10 minutes of the class finishing up. Okay. So that's pretty great. Um, here's Tuesday, here's Wednesday, here's Thursday, here's Friday. Okay, so these will be links. Um, should we spend more time in uh, distance learning? There will be more pages added accordingly. All right, so that takes care of all of that. Let's go to our calendario. Got some stuff to grade. All right, so here's today. Uh, virtual day help just finished up. Um, here's your virtual day assignment. Here's Duolingo due today. All right. Um, and then your Duolingo assignment begins tomorrow. Okay. So it says Duolingo assignment begins in February 8th. Watch video below on how to properly complete assignments on Duolingo. Okay. So make sure you understand how to do that. So this says 2-2 two, two to 2-3. Two, 2-2 two, two to 2-3. Two, 2-4 two, to 2-5. Two, 2-4 to 2-5. Two, First, third, fifth, 
second, sixth, first, third, fifth, second, sixth. Okay. So depending on which class you are, depends on which day you come to school with me. Okay. So let's, and it's the same thing. You just, you know, um, look at it and it's kind of long. All right. So here's what happens. It says, um, join the first hour meeting, third hour, fifth hour, you know, let's click on this and make this large and pretty. There we go. Okay. So, um, this is when first hour meets, this is when fifth hour meets, this is first, third, and fifth. That's when they meet. These are Tuesday meetings. These are Wednesday meetings. Did you miss a team's meeting? Click here to find your class and watch the recording. So that's what it will take you back to this guy right here. Okay. Um, so these are all ready to go. And then um, here's the assignment. What we'll do is we will go through the assignment in each of these teams meetings. Okay. So um, these assignments actually are not um, live. You can't like click on them. They're locked. For right now so that means you can't like start them without having like walked through it with me so that's nice to know um so that's two two to two three two two for tuesday two three for wednesday okay um and then here's what two four and two five look like they look exactly the same you guys um obviously the assignments are different um because I wouldn't give you the same assignments over the course of four days. Um, but so here's the assignment up here and then our Thursday meetings and our Friday meetings. And then did you miss a team's meetings? Um, both of these assignments are CAMI um, assignments. So it'll say this tool needs to be loaded in a new browser window. And then here's the CAMI um, for that. Now, here's something else about this um, assignment. These assignments are set up in modules, okay? And they're also set up in mastery modules. So that means you have to do the Tuesday slash Wednesday assignment, whichever class period you're in, before you can do your Thursday slash Friday assignment, okay? And it has to be submitted before you turn it, before you are allowed to um, even look at your Thursday slash Friday assignment. Okay. Um, so if you don't look, if you don't submit your Tuesday, Wednesday assignment, you won't be able to access your Thursday, Friday assignment. Okay. That's important to remember. So you can't do Thursday, Friday without having done Tuesday, Wednesday. All right. It's like trying to do, um, B without having done A first. Okay. You have to do A and then you can do B. Okay. All right. And then your Duolingo assignment begins. That's due the following Monday. Your, I, and I'm getting so many questions about this. Your scavenger hunt, which is talked about on the beginning page. Okay. Nobody's clicking on the beginning page. Nobody's clicking on the calendar. Um, I don't know. It's not, whatever. Uh, your scavenger hunt will be due when we come back to class. So if we come back on this Monday, it'll be due on this Monday. If we come back on this Wednesday, it'll be due on this Wednesday. If we come back on March 1st, I don't, I don't know what the world is going to do. It'll be due whenever we come back to school. Okay. So, um, and then parent teacher conferences, for those of you who like parent teacher conferences, the 18th and the 23rd. Okay. So, you, so parents can start scheduling those. All right. Um, as you can see, I'm not at school. Where did school go? Who knows? School is here. School is all of us. School is all around. Okie dokie. I love you guys. And I will see you all when I see you all online on our team's meetings. Come to them. Learn lots. I love you guys. Bye.